Okay, so we're going to look at something called power. Um, power, a little different maybe than what you expect uh, power to be known as. So we're going to go with this and we're going to say power is the work divided by time. So how fast we do work. So W over T. Um, the unit of power is going to be Watt. So it kind of leads us to this little funny joke here. What's the unit of power? Yes, Watt is the unit of power. So it's not a question mark. It is true. Watt is the unit of power. Um, horsepower comes up. We'll talk about watts versus horsepower um, as we go along. So another formula we could use for power, power is work over time. Um, which is the same as work is force times displacement over time. If we pull force out, we got power is force times displacement over time. Displacement over time is velocity. Power is force times velocity. Um, two students, Will and Abel and Ben Pump and Iron are in the weightlifting room. Will lifts the 100-pound barbell over his head 10 times in one minute. Ben lifts the 100-pound barbell over his head 10 times in 10 seconds. Which student does the most work? And which student delivers the most power? Explain. We'll do that one on the board. Do it now. All right, so we got Will and Abel and Ben Pump and Iron. So we'll, uh, we'll do these guys separately, right? We'll do uh, Ben here and Will here. Now, the first thing is work. Work is force times distance. So they're both lift, lifting 100 pounds, right? And they're both lifting it up, so lifting it above their head like this. All right, let's assume they're the same size. So let's say Ben is lifting it 100 pounds times the length of your arm, which is, we'll say, a meter for sake of uh, math easy. Will's doing the same thing. He's lifting 100 pounds to one meter. But they're doing it 10 times, so we're going to multiply both sides by 10. So essentially, Ben's doing 100 times 1 times 10. thousand joules of work. Will also, 100 times 1 times 10, thousand joules of work. So they're both doing the same amount of work. But now power is a different thing. Power is work divided by time. So Ben, we'll look at Ben, it says Ben's lifting the 10 pound barbell 10 times in 10 seconds. So doing that much work, we'll divide it by 10, all right, joules per second. So a thousand divided by 10, he is doing 100 watts of power. Will, on the other hand, is uh, doing it in one minute. One minute is 60 seconds. So let's take your 1,000 joules and divide it by 60 seconds. Um, I'm going to calculate that out. Excuse me. Um, so I take 1,000 divided by 60. And I get 16.6 watts of power. So Ben is more powerful than Will, even though they do the same amount of work, because Ben did the work faster. Tired squirrel of a mass of one, <clears throat> one kilogram does push-ups by applying a force to elevate its center of mass by five centimeters in order to do a mere half a joule of work. If the tired squirrel does all this work in two seconds, all right, what is its power? So we want to determine its power. Do it now. All right, so we got a squirrel doing push-ups. Um, and it says that the squirrel does 0.5 joules of work in two seconds. And that's all we need to know to find power. Power is work over time. His mass and the center of gravity and the distance, all this stuff, yeah, that, that's not, that's important, but they tell us what we need to know. So all we do is take 0 0.50 joules divided by two seconds. So one half divided by two, and half of one half is one quarter, so 0 0.25 watts of power. So that's how much power the squirrel does. All that extra other information, not needed. And then lastly, your household's monthly electric bill is expressed in kilowatt hours. So when you get your electric bill someday, you'll see that. One kilowatt hour is the amount of energy delivered by the flow of one kilowatt of electricity for one hour. So we're going to use conversion factors to show how many joules of energy you get 
when you buy one kilowatt hour of electricity. Do it now. All right, we want to take one kilowatt hour and convert it to joules. So we're taking kilowatt hours and converting it to energy units. And um, this is not uh, as difficult as it may seem, but we'll, uh, we'll walk through the steps, right? So we got one kilowatt hour, and we want to convert it to joules. So let's think about um, watts and kilowatts, right? So we got, um, we got kilowatts to watts. We know one kilowatt is 1,000 watts. So that gets us to watts, which is what we want, right? And then we want to go from hours to seconds. So one hour is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds, all right? And this will give us watt seconds. Now, why is that important? Well, let's, let's get our answer and then we'll talk about that. So, calculator's up. I take 1,000 times 60 times 60. And I get a really big number. I get 3,600,000 watts times seconds. Now, is that energy units? Well, a watt is a joule per second. And then if I multiply that by seconds, it cancels out. It leaves me with joules. So, a watt second is the same as a joule, but one kilowatt hour is 3.6 million joules. It's a lot of energy, and we could we could keep converting and find some other things if we needed to, but that's where that number comes from.